What's up, guys? We're back, A and H, and today we will be discussing the Mbappe deal with Madrid and also his old deal with PSG. Real Madrid just won their 15th Champions League and now number 16 loading, number 17 loading in the upcoming years. <laughs> it's looking scary now that two days or three days later they add Mbappe to their squad. And then I've been hearing some rumbling Davies. They might get Davies, so that would be crazy. Who will Davies replace though? Probably Mendy. In Madrid, get Davies as a left back. Damn. On that side, on the left side, the pace is about to be crazy, bro. Well, I guess the English teams are gonna have no chance anymore. <laughs> Tactics, speed. But yeah, we'll see. It's just rumors so but hey, Mbappe now. So what do you think, Anthony? Are you for it? For Mbappe coming? I'm so happy. Total domination. <laughs> now we got another one of the top players in the world. I think he was a top player. I think Vinny because of winning championships. Mm -hmm. But I think <laughs> when it comes to being the best, I think Mbappe was already the best. Hey, they can talk smack. World Cup on 19. <laughs> Not even the six Champions Leagues do anything to that. Yeah. But I gotta say, he should have taken the Madrid offer when it was on the table before. Back in 2022? Yeah, 2022. Two years ago, yeah. Big contract, years. big money. He decided to stay at PSG for another year or whatever, signed a new contract. Now he falls into the hands of Papa Perez. Like, what I want to give you is what I want to give you, bro. You're not getting that high money anymore. He got almost a yep. 75 million cut. <laughs> like we talked about it earlier, he got paid the bonuses already. One, what was it, 120, 115 million? Which, that's crazy. But yearly, he's gonna be making like 70, 70 to 75 less than a PSG. But that just goes to show don't be too greedy. By now, you would have a big contract plus one Champions League. So maybe even two since then. So yeah, maybe even two, bro. I mean, one or two, it's better than zero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely better. And he could have tried to renegotiate too, like bigger contract. Could have played with Benzema, would make that run. Dude, that Champions League one was crazy. They beat like all the top teams. Well, and let's be honest, I think when Madrid offered him that much money in 2022 was because Madrid themselves knew they didn't have a team to be Champions League. You know, they lost to, to City or Nail. That's when Madrid was looking at his weakest, just gonna be honest. And then they offered him all that money. He didn't want to, so their second plan was already Bellingham which, you know, another great talent. It's not the same as Mbappe, but they rebuilt and they won again. And now the Brazilian brothers are cooking, so I mean... So I guess Mbappe's gonna replace Rodrigo, fortunately. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy because Don Carlo was like, give me Jose Luke and that's it. I don't need any more signings. Next thing you know, they win Champions League with their back line gone. Through Joselo and Lucas Vasquez? What the? Yeah, like, True Many was injured, Militao was injured, like, a lot of the starter was, were injured. It's crazy. Courtois was injured. Courtois was injured. He came injured. back for the final. Yeah. Alan was injured. Oh no, that's a different team. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that just goes to show how great the bench guys did, you know, how much depth Madrid had. Because Lunin came up. Rudinger did way better than last season and the usual suspects are still doing well. So what can I say? And Jose Lu, are you kidding me? He literally took Madrid to the final. Two goals at the end, like bro. Two so. clutch goals. And I don't know if uh, you saw his stats by the end of the season. I think it was like something like 17 goals and two assists from the bench. That's crazy. Yeah, that's some crazy solid stat, bro. Like, I think that's better than Rashi. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to our previous video where we said goals in the teens is like a good accomplishment these days. Mm -hmm. And Jose Lu did that off the bench. 
off the bench, bro. That's a lot of goals. That's almost as much as Benny. <laughs> and the starters. This guy is coming off the bench. He reminded me a little bit of when they had Iwain and Benzema in bench. And Benzema would come in and score like three goals. Because they had a stack team back then too. But speaking of transfers, you know, Mbappe doesn't get what he wants. Madrid does. Xavi all of a sudden wants to pull a Mbappe move. 